So in this one, we are going to remove duplicates and the position of the linked value. So what does that mean? So um, look at so giving this list here. So you have zero one one two two. You, uh, the result will just be one two and well, zero one two because you're removing one as a duplicate and two as a duplicate, and then you just have a unique set of lists basically. So uh, to do this, follow similar patterns, uh, removing duplicates. What you uh, you uh, uh, you check is if the next value of the pointer. So like if you make a copy of the head, this is not what we're gonna even make a copy of this, and you check if the if the next value of this is equal to the current value. If it is, just skip this to be the next of next. So it'll point to this, and you do that all the way through. So this problem, this, this problem is actually sh simply straightforward. You should be able to solve it using some of the um, mechanics that we did for previous problem sets. So let's begin. All right, so the first thing is, let's, let's give it a name. Let's say const remove duplicates. Remove consecutive duplicates, as you should, should call it. Remove consecutive duplicates. All right, so the head, same thing, pointer, return the same type, we're using TypeScript. So if the head is null, but if the head is null, it's not the only thing we're gonna check. We're gonna check if the next value is null as well. Because, because if you have just one element in there, you're returning the same thing. There is no duplicate. So, what you check is if the head is null or if the head dot next is null. So if there is a data there, but then the value after that data is null, then just return the head. In in, in this case, this is this is a perfect example. The head is pointing to a data, but then the value after that data is null. So just return that because there's no duplicates. So if that's the case, if that's not the case, move on to the next thing. All right, let's make a copy to the head. And then we're gonna traverse pointer and pointer that next exists. Now we're gonna create, create our current pointer like we usually do. Create our next pointer. And then we're gonna say if current that data equals next that data. If that's the case, then current that next equals next that next. So we just skip it. That's it. If it's not the case, traverse. Here's the part. So you don't traverse all the time because if it does equal that, you're already traversing. So you don't need to do that. You you're moving the pointer. Only if it doesn't. E it only if the values are not equal, that's when you traverse it. On that's it, and then you return the head. Remove duplicates. All right, so let's solve this. All right, remove duplicates is our action. Removing duplicates. All right, let's create a uh, let's create a list zero one one two two zero. Zero, one, one, two, two. All right. So let's print this out. Compile, execute. So is our list zero, one, one, two, two, and we get back zero, one, two. Open duplicates. And if you do not have duplicates, let's see. It returns the same thing. All right. See you in the next video.